Do you know what uh, Cream Fiend is? They sell uh, Nangs, nitrous oxide canisters for making... Um, cakes. Cakes. Yeah, but yeah. they'll deliver them to you any time of day, night. Um, so, yeah, Cream Fiend. Oh, fuck. I forgot to do the intro. Hang on. Watch this. What's the name of the podcast, Ethan? I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's a comedy. It's not going to be a podcast. It's going to be a fucking train wreck. I wouldn't say that. 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 Fuck, I'm glad you there stopped you us for that. That was yeah. good. You hey. really killed that momentum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're just chipping away at it every week. Yeah, well, if I fucking do it every week, I might actually remember, you know, remember to do it. Yeah. yeah. I can't I talk. Can I don't do anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of killing momentum. <laughs> I was like, should I get him out of that? Oh, I'll just let him sit in it for a no, bit. Just let me stew on it. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be one of those podcasts, isn't it? I've got I've got shit to talk about. Have you? Yeah. Fuck yeah, go like, for it. It's all up here, mate. Yeah. yeah. Fucking, how about them waves? Hey? Oh, how fuck. about them waves out the beach the other day? Fucking huge. What's a beach? The beach. Mm. It's where you go and get yeah. pushed back in. That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> where they go to. <laughs> where you were last beached, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, somebody got dragged out dead on Friday, so that was yeah, something different. Yeah, that's what I was getting to. Yeah. yeah, that's fucked up. Oh, well, you know, I've this, I was going to say surfing and comedy are the same, but <laughs> I've seen plenty of people die on stage, but no body bags have been involved, so. <laughs> yeah, not yet, anyway. Yeah, yeah. We're still waiting for that to happen. The mass shooting at the comedy club. <laughs> Who do you something? reckon's most likely to get killed by a punter out of all the comics? Ooh. I'd say Elliot's up there. But then yeah. it's, it's just it's just too easy. Yeah. yeah. Where's the challenge? Yeah. Um, you throw him a mean look and you'll have a heart attack. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe Big Jim, but then he's too fucking scary as well, so. Yeah. Um, Depends if you catch him with his glasses on or not. <laughs> yeah, when he's true. In his, like, if he's in his Big Jim character, then he's pretty scary. But, like... When he's off stage, he's like real soft spoken. Like I want to get Big Jim on the pod. Yeah, yeah, be good. He's kind of yeah. like you know those um all those teen movies where the chicks always like got the glasses on and then she takes them off and I was like ah oh, fucking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, did you just call a... Big Jim hot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so fucking hot. I want to rim him so hard. Eh? Fuck. <laughs> big big awesome. rim on Big Jim. <laughs> big rim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how has he has he done a, a joke about like getting rimmed? No, he's That's done everything else. Eh? Yeah. yeah, you should team up with that. Yeah, fucking yeah. yeah. Big rim on the fucking big chest. Yes. <laughs> oh, please feed him that line. Yeah, oh, That's great. Just trying to remind me next whenever yeah. we actually fucking get back to it. But yeah, yeah if he's not dead, I can I've never seen like follow me at Big Jim on Instagram or anything. So. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think that'll ever happen. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Does he live out of his van? Like, I know he drives a van, but I don't know. Right, of course he stuff. drives a van. He's a fucking like. mysterious, eh? He just yeah. turns up, does his set, talks about conspiracies and fucks off. Yeah. He's quite well spoken, actually, when you have a chat to him. He's yeah. a good dude to talk to. I like him. I fucking hated his act when I first saw it. I was like, this is fucking shit, but it's grown on me. Oh, so, it does, yeah. Yeah. It's good shit. But um, speaking of taking off your glasses, fucking that was a good segue into... <laughs> <laughs> the the story we told on the pod of the fight. That uh, yeah. You wanted, you wanted oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's been fucking. You wanted to fucking. Yeah. yeah. All right. Put me straight, Adam. What well, did I get wrong? It wasn't a fucking homeless bloke for starters. Oh, that's where we draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is correct. <laughs> it was just. He was like, and also I wasn't that drunk either. Like I was getting there, but I wasn't nowhere near like hammered or anything. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. We were just out the front of um, the Happy Wombat. How do you know he wasn't homeless? Well, he, he had a ha- backpack. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he know. was a snail. <laughs> fucking, yeah. yeah, do homeless people have backpacks? He looks yes. Trolleys where, do they keep, where do they keep their shit? No, he looked too good like, and didn't smell bad enough to be homeless. So, uh, I don't know. Adam we were hanging, around, <laughs> we were hanging around. We were hanging around comics. We were probably used to bad smells by that point. No, nah, like, he was just he was just belligerently drunk too. Like he was way, way, way more drunk than I was. I think he was just insane. Could have been a bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> but but he you know up. that he had, didn't have a house. He could have been insane with a house like you. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's true. 
Yeah, but he came up and like demanded mm. a smoke instead of just asking for one. I was just yeah. like, yeah, there's one down the street in the gutter, and that's where he got all upset. And then, yeah, we had a little bit of a tete-a-tete, and then he decided to walk away, and then you decided to escalate it a little bit more. Well, he turned around. He turned around I to keep going. They turn around. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, fuck, it's and I was on. like, all right, glasses <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah. Throws his glasses on the table, gets on his I don't. I didn't, no, 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 no. I didn't throw them. I but took... Put, you went, you chucked them. I, I went like know, this. Uh, it was like double, like, right. <laughs> <laughs> you should have taken the watch off as well just to make everyone know you're serious. Yeah. No, yeah. he got up on his tippy toes. That's when you know he's serious. <laughs> yeah. Because he's trying to get taller. I'm either going to fight you or... Fuck you. Trying to stand over someone, but he can't because he's a fucking midget. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so I heard that and I was just like, I don't fight homeless people. Like, I don't... Like, you don't fight. I, was in, I don't fight at all. Yeah. I just yeah. stir them up to the point that they want to fight. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just walk off with a smile on my face because I've ruined somebody's day. <laughs> you did. You fucking ruined that guy's day so hard. Look at him. He give us a smoke. Oh. There's some fucking butts out in the fucking gardens. At he's KFC probably already having himself. a bad day. Yeah. He's probably something fucked up just happened to him. He's like, oh, fuck, fuck, I need a smoke. I need a fucking smoke. Hey, mate, you got a smoke? It wasn't even that. <laughs> it was, oh, you mate, give us a smoke. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, How did you know that there was butts in the fucking gardens at KFC ready to go, though? There's always fucking butts in the gardens. <laughs> Have you been that long in your life? That you're like, fuck. Nah, I've never, I've never... got papers, but no tobacco. Nah, I've, I've, what, like, the lowest I've gone is, like, Sometimes I'll have like a half a smoke and put it out, and then like in my own ashtray, I'll be yeah. like, "Oh, there's a bit left there. I'll have that." Sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, I was doing that for ages when I was trying to quit. I'd yeah. go out and have half a smoke and then yeah. come back. Yeah, didn't yeah, work. It's, it's great, like in theory, but then you're like, "Fuck, I've still got half a packet of cigarettes left in ash form now." Yep. So, I've uh, got to go ash ash cigarette now. So, hey, uh, uh, also, I uh, you said that I paid to to go to do type five comedy. On Eddie's one. Yeah, I thought you had to pay to get on nah, it. No, no, no. It's nah. supposed to, it's like, you were trying to think of a bringer in a, in New York. You're supposed to bring people along. Oh, right. But so, yeah, they're yeah. trying to get you to bring people along. But then afterwards, she said to me, which is which is where the pitch come in, is like, if you want to pay 50 bucks a month, then we'll give you access to like these shit hot acts. So you can go and do acts with like Nazim Hussein or whoever she's got under. Yeah. Her. Yeah, all right. So she's charging 600 bucks a year so you can do open mic comedy. So that's where the... Well, if she's not charging to do regu- like just the generic open mic comedy and she's... If you want to pay it, fuck, that's up to whoever wants to pay oh, it, if, really. you, if you don't know what the fuck you're doing, you get yeah. sucked into it. Then I didn't good. actually think you paid. Nah. But I just lied and put it out there. Yeah, fair enough. Because that's... I heard... It's it, a funny thing. Not <laughs> <It's> funny. <laughs> I didn't know it is pretty funny. Yeah. I didn't hear directly from you, but I heard rumours about her. Because that's how it gets muddy. Because there's that other part where you've got to pay to do open mic. So I hear, oh, you've got to pay to do open mic. And then I hear, you're doing her open mic. So then I'm like, oh, Adam's paid to do fucking open mic. What a retard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like... Would Adam really pay to do open mic? I'm like, it doesn't, something's not adding up here. No. no. Like, I, already, I sort of pay anyway, like hopping down on the train and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, we all bags. pay with yeah. dignity and fucking yeah. whatever. <laughs> but I'm not giving her like, here's 50 bucks, so can I do five minutes, please, ma'am? Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what a lot of people were making it. Well, not deliberately, I guess, but like, that's just how it came across when people say, like, oh, she was making people pay to do open mic, but... Uh, she's already shit in her bed anyway. Oh, she's still going like nothing's happened. She yeah. sent me a message a while ago saying, if you want to do another set, give us a yell. That's the thing, man. Like with all that shit, like drama that happens and stuff, there's no such thing as bad press. <laughs> no, because a fuck. Like, really? If anything, everyone just knows about her now and it's knows that it's a thing. She's got a new new game now anyway. Um, she's charging comics so they can get acting like highlight reels or whatever so they can start okay. doing... Yeah. You gotta admit the bitch has got a good hustle. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Should be selling fucking car wax soon. Yeah. Hey, don't don't knock the fucking car wax thing. Oh, I might I... go do that, to be honest, because uh you get tanned and lose weight, as our friend Tyler taught us. He was selling car wax up in Brisbane for like fucking a month or so. He came back and he was like, Holy fuck, dude. It's See how hot much now. how much car wax you reckon you're gonna need yourself. <laughs> Fucking a lot. <laughs> yeah. He was nowhere near as fat as you. Oh, no fucking way. But um, yeah, it was just, just, just a funny thing I thought I'd bring up and derail the conversation with. 
that's good, man. Re- really bring it back down. <clears throat> yeah. Bring us back to earth. Yeah. That's what you're here yeah. for. The, uh... You're like the bumpers when we go bowling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just there keep this show on rails. Except the bumpers are rusted and fucked. <laughs> just stop the ball halfway down. They do the exact opposite. They actually gutter the ball. Yeah. <laughs> you're about to get a strike. Then the bumper pushes it away. Fuck, I can't wait to get back to comedy and, and see you get back up there again. <clears throat> Me? Yeah. Oh, it's going to uh. be interesting. I can't wait to see who's been writing and who's just done fucking nothing. Yeah, me. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and also, who's got like a whole bunch of shit about Corona? I do not want to hear the fucking Corona jokes. I know you were saying the other day you got like five minutes on Corona. Hey, fuck it. I like, don't want to fucking hear it. So everything's going out the window, I reckon. Like, there's no such yeah. thing as hack for the first month when you get back. It's just like get up, throw shit at the wall, and yeah. see what happens. No one's going to care. Same as usual. Like, yeah. The comics will care, but they won't say anything to your face, so don't worry about it. <laughs> if you care, come on this podcast and talk shit yeah. about them. That's what we want. Just slander. It should be called How Not to Slander. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was believable slander. Yeah. I think we gave you some shit too about your conspiracy theories. Oh, yeah. Like, we, oh, I didn't hear that one. The one about the, um, the fucking sparkler dust. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 the countryside. Oh man, I, that was that's old news now. That the fact that the country was on fire, but yeah, I've sort of got that's one of the new premises, like that I've just gotten so fucking far into conspiracy theories at the last whatever how long it's been. Yeah, yeah. Now my my friends, yeah, they need to fucking. I need two sources or references or whatever, even if I'm talking about anything sort of thing. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what are the sources? What are the references? Well, you can't use Wikipedia because no one trusts that. So I'm fucked. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Wikipedia and YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty fucking crazy one because I watched that video that you put up and I was kind of like, when he's talking about like the government's trying to control the fucking population and like, doing all that shit and I'm like yeah they probably would fucking do that wouldn't they and then he's like and, now, and they're spreading sparkler dust into the bush to like like rev up these fucking fires that are going and I'm like oh, okay now you lost me dude like, <laughs> I was I was ready with my pitchfork and fucking torch ready yeah. to go. <laughs> but sparkler dust fuck. that's where you no, draw the line yeah that's where I draw the line yeah, but, yeah. you think someone would notice like legit notice I get into conspiracy shit like I I really I, I don't know I get fucking torn between Believing that the government is a bunch of incompetent fucking retards that can't get anything done, mm-hmm. and then another day I'll be believing like, no, they're fucking. There's people that are like orchestrating the government and making shit happen, and they're like pulling the strings, like the government's the puppets. Well, that's what I, I feel I like. It's somewhere in between yeah. there, those two things because they, they the government <laughs> leaks too much information, so you couldn't give them any sensitive things because they'd yeah. just be like going down to the pub. And talking to the journos or whatever, so yeah, you've got to keep them those fucking morons out of it. Yeah. yeah, you'd have to have some overarching thing of like just a couple of people running everything. Yeah, because if it gets too big, then there's too many loose ends. Yeah, and then you've got to start killing people to fucking oh, make it, people it's, shut up. If it, it's if it's if it's going to run, it's going to run on the need to know basis. Yeah. So yeah, only one person like. Be a fucking stressful job being the like captain of the conspiracy. Illuminati. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just like, like fuck, fuck, man. I got a five o'clock meeting with fucking sparkler dust, and then I got. To fucking... <laughs> I'm go see Bill Gates. Mm. Okay. I feel like it'd be more like realistically, it'd just be like you've got people in power, and they're all just good mates. You ever been on a work site like that where it's like real clicky? Oh yeah, like, every yeah, work site. Well, yeah. every work site, and it's like there's a group of blokes who will look after each other. And if you're not in that circle, you just get stuck with shit jobs and stuff like that. Yeah, you've got a fucking piece of Rio coming out of your head and they're just like, oh, suck it up, mate. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, you'll be right. <laughs> but the, the problem with the, like all these people that do all the conspiracy theory videos is that they're making such a good point and then they just go off this one fucking crazy tangent which yeah. derails the whole fucking yeah. thing. Yeah, that's what gives <clears> me the shits because that dude was like saying some stuff that was true. I believe it was true, but yeah. then, yeah, you add in the rest of the fucking crazy and you're like, oh, God damn it. And there's always like a nugget of truth in every good conspiracy theory that yeah. gets everyone going. <laughs> yeah, and you can't But then they it. use that as a basis for like all this other crazy shit is true too. And you're like, no. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. fucking but got one of Tom's said, mates. Um, he posted this conspiracy sh- theory shit. Yeah. And I was just like, yeah, I was in defense for 10 years. And uh, like once every year, we took a month out to practice like fucking chemical warfare in cities and stuff like that 
like went into like just crazy fucking bullshit detail. And then like right at the end, I was like, yeah, no, nah, that was all like not true. Just like the shit you just spouted, today. Eh? And he's just like, fuck you, man. <laughs> like, so Mitch has had heaps going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was shitting. <laughs> I always do that Mitch stuff when I'm shitting. Taking a shit, writing essays. Have you written any comedy? <laughs> um, nah, just yeah, fucking nah. troll on Facebook. Yeah. Like, take a dump. <laughs> yeah. How's, um, how's Lawngate going at the moment? Oh, it's fucking, uh, it's actually growing back. She's, uh, what did you she's come it? back. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to whip a snip, couldn't start the whip snipper. Tried to fix the whip snipper, broke me tool. It was the whole thing. Anyway, the grass is coming back. Um, we're about three quarters of the way there now. <laughs> what do you mean it's coming back? It's, it's always, coming back. It's always been there, hasn't it? Nah, 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 nah. nah. Like I've seen a photo on Facebook. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. the Two backyard. Man. Yeah, the backyard's backyard. a fucking sandpit, dude. Yeah. yeah. No, one side's, one side's growing back. <laughs> and then the other <laughs> side is yard, there's is just it? a hole where the dogs have just like run it out. Can we get out. a photo of your lawn for this podcast as the title cover? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no way that lawn's growing. You should back. get a job with Jim's mowing and go and mow everyone else's lawn, and then you come home, and you're like, oh, "I'm just too tired to do my own." At least <laughs> it's an excuse. Yeah, that chef excuse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> he should also be a male prostitute too. Then by that logic. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, good to see you. Yeah, isolation's been treating you well, has it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This, this is your work position at the moment, is it? Um, yeah, pretty much. I'm usually a lot more relaxed at work. Have you got like less a, professional. a lounge, you pull back and sit back and you've got the like... <coughs> no, no, I've sits got... sits on your lap. <laughs> I haven't got a lap, mate. It's all gut. <laughs> uh, no, no. I've, I've got the desk set up from when we used to do podcasts at my place, but I just never moved. So you, you got to... that set up for work? Mm. Oh, so you can't be on your gaming computer while you're working? No fucking way, man. Yeah. I've got no self-control. <laughs> we can tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you realise this. <laughs> you couldn't tell by looking at me, but um, I'm a lazy piece of shit. His car needs a wheel alignment. Because <laughs> <laughs> keeps pulling into KFC on his drive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's gold. <laughs> oh, can I use that? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure I stole it from a meme, but oh, for it. spewing. <laughs> you should, yeah, you do that with your lawn bit. What was it, your bit about the uh, chicks that don't shave themselves? Oh, shaving your pussy bit. Yeah. I'm mm. still trying to work on that. It was pretty good the other day, though, because I wasn't, like, shaving my mustache. I was shaving. I wasn't trimming it. Mm. And, um, yeah, the missus got the shits, and she's like, I'm not shaving my pussy until you shave that mustache, and I'm not fucking you either. <laughs> Mustache went in five minutes. She has. Well, she has could not. Scotch been trimmed. Scotch has policy. But I was like, fuck. Like, I get really competitive about stupid shit. <laughs> like, you really want to ruin our whole relationship over a fucking mustache? Like, I'll go there. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> but do you get um, itchy? Because I tried to grow a Corona beard and I got to like about two weeks. I was just like, oh, it's got to It only stays thing. itchy for like a week and then, then it's fucking You gone. get used but, to it. Yeah. But my. This shit just looks like crap. But I want to do that joke as like opening up like, oh, if you don't shave and like try and get the crowd into thinking I'm talking about women going like, oh, you're, you're fucking disgusting and no one's going to want to go down on you and blah, blah, blah. And then be like, so anyway, I need to have a shave, like bring it back on myself. And then maybe I can open up the door to talking no, about yeah. women yeah. once everyone's had a laugh at me and go like, oh, yeah, but like you're allowed to laugh at me. But if I start talking about women, like everyone's... And if I do start talking about women off the bat, everyone's just going to freeze up and just be yeah. like, oh, fuck. Oh, that's like, that's a huge Joe Rogan thing. He like makes himself a huge piece of shit and then just goes, all right, yeah, here we go. Yeah. Now that I've attacked me, I feel like I can, yeah. But, so you could do that, right, but that you'd shit. never run out of like things to stop attacking yourself. Oh, about, I know, so. I know. That's that's <laughs> what I mean. I was, we were talking about it at work the other day. I'm like, fuck, I can't get skinny. It's all my jokes. <laughs> it's literally like a fat piece of shit comic. <laughs> that heart fail is really going to be worth that Netflix money, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Totally going to totally gonna get that Netflix money. <laughs> <laughs> Start taking your shirt off on stage like Burt Kreischer. Oh, man, that's a mess. <laughs> He's like, that's another level of confidence right there. Like, 
just really doesn't give a fuck. I don't think you could do it anymore anyway. Like, because everything's going to come back, you know, unless you're covered in hand sanitizer or something. Yeah, like, I'd have to fucking grease myself up. Oh, God. Is that the most awful image of you just fucking... (laughs) 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 Murph dope. (laughs) Murph. I wash myself with a rag on a stick. (laughs) (laughs) I've got a moo moo. Uh, I do have a moo moo. So have you got to the stage of just yelling out to Tanya for meatloaf yet or fucking... <laughs> no, no, no. She's well trained. She just brings it to me without me asking. Yeah. <laughs> Good girl, Tanya. Oh, fuck. Mitch from home is that episode of fucking Homer when he starts working from home at the power plant <laughs> in the movie. Oh, yeah. He's got I don't the fucking to press Y, yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I can just press Y. <laughs> I made that joke and everyone's like, oh, well, at least you haven't got a dress. I'm like, no, I've got a dress. And then showed them the photo of Chaz's party. I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> You're Homer. <laughs> so do you, do you wear like adult nappies at work when you're sitting there? So you no, just don't do, you no. You just work away all day? Because I'm hoping if I do shit myself, I'll have a funny story to tell on stage. Oh, you still so. will, but you'll just be able to, you know, rip off that fucking nappy and put a new one on rather than... Having to go and change your pants and all that. Oh, yeah, I suppose. You know, I might want a shower. I th- I feel like if you go on boom boom in a nappy, you you want to shower afterwards at least. Go on boom boom in a nappy. <laughs> that is the episode of this fucking <laughs> podcast, isn't it? That was fucking terrible. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, I could just see you just wallowing in it all day. <laughs> That's his well, it was cold. And it's like uh, it's five o'clock. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't can't fucking meet with that. Bloke there is about an this. internet subculture of people who shit in nappies and just walk around with them all day. Yep. <clears throat> yes, there is. Yep. Is that the boom boom brigade <laughs> yeah. or some shit? The boom boom brigade. <laughs> Oh, I love it. You should have got into that before you shoot yourself this year. You would have been all right. I know. I was fucking really hoping you wouldn't make it through Australia Day without shitting yourself. No, I'm good. Mitch is leading the charge mm. this year. What's the score at the moment? 1 0. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we went like 3 2 last year, so <laughs> there's, like, there's still hope. <laughs> It's like a classic soccer match, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it really is. <laughs> it's boring for the fucking Arsenal first half, versus <laughs> Manchester. Yeah. I thought you were going to make a funny play on words when you said Arsenal. Oh, I'm not that intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> intelligent. Yeah. We've still done any ashes yet, so that's good. <laughs> um, so fucking UFOs are real. That, that came out this year. Oh, from that grainy ass footage. Yeah. I, I can't remember who I read it. Somebody, I think it was DeGrasse Tyson tweeted something yeah yeah he's like it. yeah we've got like cameras and everything and this is the shittest fucking like these little grainy images mm. is all you've got yeah. sort of thing i think it's all they had on the jets that captured the fucking thing what have they got a fucking nokia 3310 on the fucking jets? <laughs> <laughs> no they got a 30 year old fucking fleur camera yep this cunt knows yeah because they used, to work, used to work on them <laughs> yeah they were the only ones that could get footage of them apparently because yeah they is that is that the stuff over the ocean yeah yeah. That was on that Rogan episode. Yeah. But, yeah. I like how they just casually drop that in to the fucking year. It's like, yeah, country's on fire, fucking pandemic. Oh, your are real. <laughs> and no one's paying attention. Yeah. No oh, yeah it's like yeah. when they, uh, on grand final day or whatever, they drop all their shitty fucking government stuff that they don't want to know about. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like, yeah. You know, What's happened this year? It's like fucking George Pell got off. Yeah, yeah. And that's just gone. Like, gone out of the way. Yeah, because so, yeah. Yeah, Australia was on fire. But he comes out of, you know, thing and he's in quarantine, so he can't get to hang around kids. So it's sort of punishment in itself. So. <laughs> the sh- kids are the carriers, so you should be giving him, like, just Fuck sending your... a bunch of kids at him. Yeah, you're way behind He'll, him, he'll take the disease, don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah probably. He'll be like, he finally dies, and he'll be like, he died doing what he loved. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking yeah. <laughs> I was like fuck Yeah Yeah fuck that dude What else happened this year? Fuck we're only in May Oh it's fucking weird eh it's like, Yeah It's a fucking weird year You wake up We you know Wake up 1st of January Can't breathe the air Because it's full of smoke How many How many people are fucking regretting Giving us all that money Now that they haven't got jobs 
Oh, the um, uh, bushfire money. Yeah. Well, Red Cross isn't because they're just fucking sitting in there with the bank, just making fucking heaps oh, of yeah, interest. That's right, yeah. And that whole fucking um, like that challenge that was going around too for Lifeline. Oh, after the it. fucking which which one? Because my mates have been doing that egg one recently. Yeah, it's like you've got to fucking eat an egg or donate two hundred dollars to Lifeline. You're like, what is it? Yeah, have, Drink a, an egg, have, have a, a raw shot. egg. Um, Teaspoon of sugar or a fucking tablespoon of sugar, and then a, a shot and a skull of beer. Yeah. Eating raw egg is actually very dangerous. Well, we were laughing the other day, going like, <laughs> "I'd rather like eat a raw egg and risk it than donate two hundred to Lifeline." <laughs> <laughs> it's not a great challenge. It yeah. doesn't make you look fucking <laughs> like yeah. you care. And yeah, then, no. then like alcoholism's huge for suicide as well. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, Beyond Blue came out and said, "Look, we're not affiliated with it. Thanks for the thoughts, but yeah, like fucking." Just give us some money. Who the <laughs> fuck's coming up with these challenges? Well, they need to ste- like step it up a bit, I reckon. Oh, it needs every- to be like everybody in up. isolation. It's fucked. Like everyone's like, oh, here's these ten albums that fucking define my childhood. Who gives a fuck? Like, yeah, everyone's yeah. so bored out of their tit. Yeah. Oh, the online comics are the worst at the moment. Like, oh, yeah. us. We're, at least we're not doing fucking sets like fucking dancing like a monkey. Fucking look yeah. at look at me, boss. Well, this is dancing like a monkey, but it's like uh, no, fuck. nobody watches. Yeah. yeah, no one watches. The monkey died a <laughs> yeah. long time ago. Yeah. We're not pretending that people are laughing. Yeah, yeah. we know people are laughing. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> <laughs> fuck no. Oh yeah, some of the people are just coming up and doing these sets. It's like yeah, you can subscribe and pay us to come and watch us do the acts that we've you've seen plenty of times. Yeah, to nobody. It's fucking awful. I wouldn't want to subject anyone to my comedy, especially online. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's fucking, yeah. No, it's been that long, like Mitch was saying on the way over here too, it's like, it's been that long that everyone's forgotten their sets, basically. Mm. So if you get up there going, yeah, so anyway, um, uh, yeah. Uh, it'd be like your first fucking time you've ever done comedy. I don't know about you guys, how much weed you guys have been smoking, but I can remember both your sets. (laughs) What about yours? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's weird, isn't it? You remember everyone else's, not your own shit. Yeah. Yeah, because you're trying to forget your mistakes. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty much. So yeah, I can remember Carbon Gildo's and... Oh, yeah, the uh, the rocks. tampon one that that's unforgettable. That one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I only did that twice. <laughs> and you're a trans man, fucking. Yeah, I'm well known for that bit. Yeah. That, that stuck, didn't it? Oh, I had to come and break up a fight between you and a chick. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to keep going, but you're like, can you shut the fuck up? There's people trying to do comedy. Oh, well, I was trying to get ready to do a set, and you're just going. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. See, look, I've broken up a fight. See, you did. Yeah, yeah. Adam yeah. the peacemaker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like the worst shit stirrer. Came over and gave her a cigarette and it's like, there you go, like, yeah. fuck you can on. find more at KFC. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, so I got, got a new surfboard, which is pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. From, Adam's uh, fucking attacking me because the foot pad's in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's later on down the story. The story yeah, starts. The story starts. <laughs> yeah. We went for a surf the other day and he's got this board and it's sort of not... It's too small for him when he's learning. So I had a, a mini mal, so I let, let, let him have a go of it. And he's like, oh, this is good. And I was like, yeah, have a go of this. And then so I had a go of his board. And it's just like, this is the fucking worst board that I've ever ridden in my life. Like, hands down. <laughs> he's ridden a lot of surfing. Yeah. Like, estimate how many, like 100? Oh, uh, probably fucking 30-odd or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, like, it just... It just didn't go. Like you put your foot down and it doesn't go. It's like a car with no petrol in it sort of thing. Yeah. Anyway, it's like this board's fucked. So whoever designed Why is this board so fucked? Yeah. <laughs> like, <emphasis, laughs> we got to really build the emphasis of just how fucked this board is. Yeah. Anyway, it's just like this... You shouldn't have told him. You should have just let him keep going. What? Just let Ethan just be shit at something for <laughs> once. Shit at <laughs> oh, that's just not... <laughs> this board's great, man. I don't yeah. know what you're talking about. Yeah. You should persist. Can you imagine if... If he got good on that board, though, how much of a good surfer you'd actually be? Uh, yeah, but like... Maybe. I honestly, <laughs> honestly think you'd have to be a pro to get this thing going because yeah. it's just such a hunk of shit. And like, it's, uh, I'd rather watch him bomb and enjoy watching him fail at comedy than watch him surf because, you know, you try and have fun. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's like, oh, this is a hunk of shit. Cut it in half, stick it in a 44-gallon drum, burn it. Fucking never want to see it again. Anyway... 
five seconds later, you, you found out what the truth was behind the <laughs> yeah, board. The problem with the board, the real problem <laughs> with the board was Adam's like, trade it in and get another one. I'm like, all right, I'll see how much these are going for. I'll just type in the goal, guy's name that like designed and made the board. And I type in Paul Callahan who made the board into Google. Yeah. And you can do this at home too if you're playing along. <laughs> the guy <laughs> fucking got extradited from Indonesia for like fucking an underage girl. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Fuck! It's a rapist board. Oh, Not a, only is it a rapist board, it's a child rapist yeah, board. Yeah. Pedophile. Fuck. Yeah. That's pedophile Kelly. That's oh. why the board's so shit because he needed a cover. So he's raping these little girls, and he's like Whoa. spends one one like fraction of the second that he's supposed <laughs> to spend on actually making a board. He's like whipping it off. He's like, hey, that'll fucking do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To yeah. Kids. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good shit to do. He spent six weeks fucking a kid, and they're like, oh, we gave you a bunch of money to design a board, and he's like, oh fuck, that's all right. Yeah. 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 My bad. Yeah, whipped it up in like 10 minutes instead of an hour or something. Yeah. Actually an hour instead of a day, but whatever. Um, so yeah. yeah, that was fucked. Um, so I got rid of the pedophile. I feel like <laughs> that'd be a collector's item in some circles. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Paul Callahan, man? Oh, that's pretty sweet. And George Pell takes up surfing. That's the board he wants. <laughs> yeah. It'd actually be a good board for kids. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. He's making oh. boards for kids, selling them to adults. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. And then I'm like online looking up another board and I'm like, oh yeah, this one looks alright. I send it to Adam. He's like, yeah, not bad. And it's designed by Peter McKay, but I look him up. He's been inter- you know, like arrested for international drug smuggling. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> Can't win. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that though. Yeah, that's that's, that's, right. that's, that's ah, yeah. in a different league to fucking children. I actually encourage people to smuggle drugs. Yeah. Yeah. People, people smuggling a sexual assault. Draw a line. Yeah, yeah I draw a line in the sand there. That's fucked. Yeah. Yeah. If you're a drug smuggler, you're a hero to me. It's just unfortunate that you got caught. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, but yeah he's living the lifestyle properly. So. Yeah, he's a he's a <coughs> revered shaper these days. So. Is he? Yeah. yeah he, he's from Newcastle, isn't he? Yeah, he was like, he's really, really good back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good um, dude. Did his 18 months and now he's fucking... 18 months, that all. Yeah, apparently. I can't remember where it was. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, he sort of like explored all the Indonesian all that way back in the day before anybody knew about it. Yeah. So I've, I was watching that's where he videos. found the drugs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was watching my mates. Uh, my mates heaps into surfing and he um, has all these old videos of people going over to Indonesia surfing. And they're all like tripped out on mushrooms on like long boards, just like oh fucking <laughs> these ones on the front of the boards, and they're like narrating it, and they're like, I don't know how the fuck he was staying on it, man. Like he had like ten grams of mushrooms, and then he just went out. <laughs> oh yeah, they get off their tits and just live. With Holy the bush. fuck! Yeah, Le- like learn to live with malaria and fucking eat like six grains of rice all day. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. I guess the what was that fucking movie? Is it The Beach? I guess that must be loosely based off what those dudes were back in. Isn't that the one with then. Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, where oh, he goes just... to like that fucking. They go to it's like a huge um, grow up, but it's also a fucking awesome beach on the other side. That's in Thailand. I don't think there's any waves there, but yeah, I haven't seen that movie. But yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's a good movie. They closed that beach because too many people turned up and fucked it. So, oh really? Yeah. What do you mean fucked it? Like they just turned up, left all this shit everywhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Turned from paradise into just fucking Bondi. So. Yeah, that happens at every fucking tourist spot. I went over to Fiji, like family holiday, eight years ago or something. But yeah, it was fucked. Like they take you out to this island and you could tell it was really good like like 10 years prior to us getting there. But this resort's been there and like the reef's just all bleach. There's yeah. just shit everywhere. Like the whole hotel's just all run down. There's tiles falling off the walls and shit. And you're like, oh, this place is fucked. <laughs> like, yeah. I got stitched up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone's like, Fiji's awesome. I'm like, oh, no. Fiji no, it's was not. awesome. Was yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Before Whitey got there and <laughs> fucked it all up. We we turned up to the wrong part of Fiji. Like Where the you? other side. You got eaten. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of him to go around. Yeah. <laughs> and it was a Sunday too. And it's just everything was closed. So oh, like oh, everything's closed. And so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So everything was closed, and all I can tell you is that in Fiji, there's a lot of half finished buildings. So those people are right up my alley. I'd fucking, <laughs> I'd fit right in there. <laughs> do, do you need a plumber or a shower maker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could do your lawns. So. Yeah. <laughs> I come back and I was like, I work with a dude who um, was from Fiji. I'm like, 
yeah, there's a lot of like half finished buildings, and he's just like, yeah, yeah, there is, isn't there? <laughs> it's, not, yeah, it? it's not even, it's not like a damaging stereotype. It's just the truth. You right. should start up a franchise called Jim's Going. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna do Jim's it. gonna, yeah. <laughs> Uh, when I was living, I lived up at Cairns a few years ago for like the winter, and one of the housemates, yeah, his his dish was chicken a la gunner because he was going to cook it all the time, but never got around to it. Yeah. It's so much so that he'd buy all the shit and then just rot and then throw it out. Like it was no, terrible. That's fun. It's fucking waste. <laughs> oh shit! I was um reading this story before it was like fresh off the internet. Um, this fucking dude. He, his wife kept tying his boots up, like he'd leave his boots at the door and she was like a super fucking neat freak. So she'd keep tying his laces up, like the shoes are not on this man's feet. And he's like, this is kind of annoying. The kicker is he's like an EMT. So he's got to fucking get up in the middle of the night and like oh. go save people from dying. And this bitch keeps tying his fucking shoes up. <laughs> But like double knotting it as well. Oh, really? Yeah, what, like, in case they like kick loose no, <laughs> through the night? But like, <clears throat> so he asks her, like, can you stop fucking doing it? Like, this is becoming a problem. Mm. And um, she's like, oh, it's just how I am, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like, how women are, pretty much, when you ask them to do just shit. Just crazy people, yeah, actually. Yeah. Just how crazy people are. Crazy people in general. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so he's asked her and she's like... Pretty much like, no, I'm just going to keep doing it. And then one night he gets a call and it's like someone needs CPR and he's there trying to fuck with his shoes. Just like, <laughs> goddamn oh. bitch, I fucking hate this goddamn bitch. She comes up out of bed. She's like, oh, shouldn't you be going to get that? And he's like, I'm trying, but some dumb motherfucker can get to tie my fucking shoelaces. Just lost his shit. And she's like, oh, like crying. Just like, oh, I've never heard you yell like that. I thought you were going to hit me and all this shit. And he's like, look, I'm sorry I yelled. It's just... I've asked you and you're not fucking doing it. <laughs> so, Meanwhile, uh, mate's bleeding out yeah, somewhere. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Well, like, what did, what why didn't he buy a Velcro? That's what I was going yeah, to get Or slip-ons or whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You just got a one-upper. We used to point. have zippers um, in the military. You used to have boots with zippers mm. on the side. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking like handy. Boots, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you yeah. did the uh, yeah, laces up and you just up. Yep. Fucking... Or you Let's just have them I can't reach me feet anymore anyway, so... <laughs> so when you're trying to do your shoelaces up, is it just all like... Oh, oh, no. It is becoming a whole thing, yes. <laughs> <laughs> my hips are really flexible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You're like, ah. If the mountain won't come to Muhammad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just going to start wearing sandals everywhere. That's why fat people wear sandals, because it's just like fucking easy. <laughs> Fuck it. Moo moo socks and thongs, eh? Yeah, yeah, like the just this the one strap, the thick strap sandals. Yeah. And it'd be great too. Oh, you better start when... selling drugs as well, because that's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you gotta really start get wearing into Hawaiian character. shirts as well. Fuck. <laughs> I should buy some Hawaiian. Why don't I wear Hawaiian shirts everywhere now? Yeah, you know, what yeah. is it? Jurassic Park, Newman from Seinfeld. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. And every time he goes on stage, it's like that scene where he's like yelling out. He's like, "See, nobody cares." <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, but anyway, the end of that story is that um, the guy, because she's a neat freak, he then went, went and undid all his wife's laces <laughs> <laughs> before she went out for a run. She got heaps upset. Oh, good. <laughs> like, she she slide yeah, her shoes on or something, does she? Or no, no. She had her shoes in like a cupboard or something, and they were like all perfectly aligned, and all the laces were all done up. And she like gets out a perfect pair of shoes and puts them on. So he just went in and fucked them all up. He should have yeah. tied the laces together from the two shoes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he should have strangled her with them and started a new life. Is what he should have done. What he should have done he should is have got the fuck cut. Out of there. No, cut the laces, but in a way so that you could replace them and they look perfect. And when she grabs her shoe, she goes to untie the laces and then all the laces just fall to bits. <laughs> no, no, that's too much. you just got to snip a little bit. So like when you're halfway through running, then it gets... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hopefully she trips and rolls an ankle oh, or dies. Than fucking, like, if you're trying to go for a run and you got loose shoes. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fucking oath. You can't be all gangster when you're running like with your fucking shoes. You just slip on. You know? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've had shoelaces break. Believe it once upon a time. 
young I Port you've used had to play. Dr- uh, break as well. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> yeah, once once upon a time, little Pud used to play tennis. I remember I was in the middle of a, middle of a game. Me shoelaces broke. On your Dunlop volleys, or no? I was wearing a pair of secondhand DCs. You couldn't afford volleys. Yeah, I literally couldn't. <laughs> like I was that poor. You have to go steal them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. With the Aboriginal kids in town. So you could, you could afford a tennis racket, but not shoes, eh? No, I used to borrow me mate's tennis racket. What, yeah, about, the, what about the balls? <laughs> His balls too. <laughs> Do you know that um, fucking Athletes Foot in Tari does an exchange program with the Aboriginal kids? What, so you can get Athletes Foot? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> they go in with an old pair of Dunlop Follies and they come out with a new pair. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Dunlop Follies aren't the like fucking... Athletes just... Foot didn't know it was a, th- a program <laughs> yeah, they, they were running. It was a thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you they walk just in... do that. <laughs> instead of saying Athletes Foot TM, it's just Athletes Foot Serving Suggestion instead. So, you, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Follies though. Yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Got a bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, like Follies are just cheap. Converse, basically. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> they used to be pretty good back in the day, and oh, they they've gotten are. worse. I feel like they've gotten worse. I watched it, my mate do it, and I was mind blown. He just goes in with an old pair of shoes on, takes them off, puts them in the box, puts the new ones on, and walks out. I'm like, you can do that? It's like a needle exchange program, or something. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> now, whenever I see it, I'm just like, oh yes. Yeah, someone... What's what's the stores next to it though? Because then there was like, remember. do they have exchange programs as well? Like, <laughs> Probably. I saw someone had done it at Bunnings with a pair of work boots not long ago. So the yeah. old switcheroo taking place. I'm like, fuck yeah, someone's still out there fucking getting it. Oh, getting somebody's it like, you're going to start photographing your fucking yeah, shoes. Yeah, shitty fucked up work boots. Yeah. Because I was looking for boots at Bunnings. I'm like, yeah, what have they got here? Have a look in one box and it's just these old fucked up boots. <laughs> 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 Suckers. <laughs> Uh, one of my old bosses used to always steal tape measures from there. Oh, yeah. He'd go uh, and get the tape measure from the tools before the tools was a section by itself. Yeah. And then he'd go and measure the timber and then just put the tape measure on his pants and walk and pay for the timber. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 It was a scheme. Like, yeah. He probably used to do that to people on site too. He would have made... steal your fucking tape would've measure. would have made a fortune these days with his 1.5 meters just selling tape measures for <laughs> a few days. The amount of tape measures I used to lose fucking pissed me off. And pens. What at the RAF base? RAF, not at the RAF base, but like out in mine sites and you stuff. Know, he had discipline like, when he yeah. was there because otherwise they'd kick his. No, head. no. Well, they used to like you had to control. You had controlled tools if you work on oh, the aircraft because yeah, yeah, you like can't leave them in a fucking engine. Yeah. <laughs> kind of start up. And <laughs> Most blow people up. that work on shit after a job go and put their tools back and go, oh, I'm fucking missing this. Not this little black oh, duck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it'll oh, get cleaned man. up eventually. <laughs> oh, no, it fucking won't. Yeah, well, as soon as they turn the engine on, it just <laughs> shreds it. <laughs> yeah. They don't even have those sort of controls for, like, Qantas and shit, do they? Like, major aircraft. I've, I've heard oh, they, that. They, they I've did, heard that. but it's just gone downhill. Well. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ever since they started maintaining, maintaining them offshore. Yeah. Fucking dad's mate invested, like, 300 grand into Webjet the other week <laughs> in shares. I was like, well, that's they've fucking dropped. Risky. They've dropped so much. Yeah, all if the they don't, if they don't, yeah, if they don't go out of business, all they can do is go up. Yeah. Well, so. that's what happened. Then he made a shitload of money. Yeah. Well, you reckon um, Joe Rogan got stocks in um, Spotify? Spotify before the announcement. Could have I was done. saying this the other day, and everyone was like, "That's highly illegal." I was like, "I don't know. Is that privileged information? Just because you it's don't give it to any, anybody trading. else?" It's not really insider trading because if you know that you're going to do it and you just get them yourself, you don't tell yeah. anybody. I don't know. I like, guess. I don't know. That, that chick got in trouble in Congress not long ago for doing that sort of shit. Oh, they found... No. the One of the fucked up stories I heard is there was a whole bunch of them that went into a closed door meeting yeah. about COVID, heard how fucked it was and like how China's falling apart yeah, in Europe. Yeah, that was the one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they just came out and sold all of their stock. You're like you fucking cunts! Oh, that's you just fuck government. pieces of shit. Yeah, that shit happens all the time. Oh, that's probably fucking a small thing. They're probably like, <laughs> that's what people are getting upset about. You should see the shit that we're doing oh, <laughs> no. to the Mexicans. <laughs> 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 Run a big old fucking pipeline right through your backyard. Yeah, yeah. or selling them masks, which are pre like COVID, like they gave to the Indians. Back yeah, in day. giving them a fucking SARS blanket. <laughs> 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 now it was um, what was it? It was fucking 
<laughs> Smallpox. <laughs> Yeah, 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 back in the day. Yeah. yeah, have some blankets and pillows. <laughs> Smallpox was a thing up until very recently oh, too. That's, yeah. that's a horrendous <laughs> fucking thing to get. But to. if you like, if you brought that up as a conspiracy theory nowadays, like this country's given another country like fucking, it's basically what happened with COVID. Essentially, is like oh they fucking spread it around like that. And yeah, it's like oh it's a conspiracy to think they did it deliberately. Yeah. It's like look at the smallpox blanket. Like, it's the same shit. Uh, here's your COVID shot. Here's your plane ticket. Off you go. Yeah, yeah. China's not doing themselves any favours either. Like, I know. Well, they're like, oh, yeah, there's going to be an investigation. And then all of a sudden China's like, if you participate in that, we're not buying your barley anymore. Yeah. China's then, still man. cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number one on the west side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, China don't give a fuck. They own everybody and everything. Yeah. yeah. The fucking photo you posted on in Discord, just a Chinese man in the middle of Africa with two black chicks, no shirt, and he's just got his hands on their titties. Yeah, that dude was getting AIDS though. Yeah, <laughs> wow, <laughs> worth it. Maybe he had the, maybe he had the cure for AIDS already. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Maybe that's the cure for AIDS, being Asian. <laughs> have you ever heard of an Asian with AIDS? I haven't. Black people though, Magic Johnson. Oh, yeah, Shit. well. He, I he feel got, like he'd he pull his pants it. down. $186,000 of cash. Fuck. Yeah. Straight in the veins. They must have just sucked out some Asian stem cells and <laughs> shot him up with them or something. I feel like you, if you're an Asian dude and you go to fuck a black chick, it'd be like me normally. It's just... <laughs> so what are, you, what are you doing with that thing? What yeah, I get doing? it. Because your dick's small. Yeah, and so Asian dicks. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you've got a dick extender anyway, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Have yeah. you used it yet? Nah, not yet. Fuck. Went to all that. Don't you hate it when you buy people gifts and they don't use it? Where, where'd you, what shop did you buy that from anyway? It was like this five fucking story, like, sex shop in Japan. Yeah, they just got all kinds of weird shit in there. Did you just walk in and say, dick extenders, please? And they said fourth floor? Or? <laughs> no, I went and explored all the floors. <laughs> Went and looked at all the child sex dolls and shit. I'm like, yeah, Japan's whack. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Just yeah. like poke your finger in it. <laughs> it's in like, it. Yeah. In it. Oh. It's like, please don't touch the displays. And you're like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, why is it sticky? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up. They don't want people. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. There, and shit. there was a sex robot at, uh, you know how they have those expos with like sex, sex dolls and stuff? They had like a sex robot. And like... Ten dudes just came in and gang raped the robot. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, Jesus, fuck. But you're like, oh, it's a robot, but still. <laughs> you're like, yeah, but fuck. Uh, that's how the fucking Terminator starts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, that's, I can't remember who I was. I think I was listening to Elon Musk and he was saying, don't ever treat a robot badly because they never forget. So yeah. Well, <laughs> that fucking robot. I hope it forgot. Uh, Elon Musk is yeah. a fucking spastic anyway. Yeah, no, but if the, those ten blokes... If that sex robot does become aware, yeah, they're yeah, all exactly. fucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he just got huge because his fucking dad owns an emerald mine or some shit. And oh, then... he's been brought up by his bootstraps like General. Oh, oh, well, he? he also invented PayPal and earned a fuckload of money off that. That well, certainly helps. But uh, to have the, the backing to fucking make your sh- fucking idea... Yeah, whatever like, shit it is. You know, all those ideas you have when you're fucking ripped off your head. Yeah. Like, That'd be a great idea, but you've got no money to implement it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I get those all yeah. the time. I, a fucking bouncy ball iPhone case. Where is it? I want it. It's probably just fucking what, ruined that, your phone, though. That big? <laughs> yeah. How are you going to fit in no, your pocket? Not that big. Just a regular fucking, you know, like a fucking life proof screen or some shit. Yep. Oh, but you can't, bounces. those life proof screens probably the shock of it suck, though, it. because you can't hear the phone ring. When you're in the yeah. case. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and they don't fit into fucking phone holders and shit. Yeah. Try and, like, charge them in, like, with normal cable. Yeah. Fuck life proof. Uh, I, I stopped ca- using my life proof. Then I dropped it off the side of a truck. And I was like, <laughs> I should have used that life proof. <laughs> <laughs> and my boss was like, you should have used that life proof, cunt. Speaking of getting ripped <laughs> off your tits, and you've been a bit of a naughty boy, haven't you? Me? No, nah, Adam down in Sydney. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Had some acid for the first time. It was good. You had a good time? It is good the first time. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's, I've got a friend who lives down there and he's, like, got an apartment in Neutral Bay and it looks out, like, and there's the harbour and all the buildings and the harbour bridge yeah, and all that. Yeah, fuck. So I was oh, fucking tripping, tripping balls and just looking at all the lights. 
just like, oh, this is amazing. And then like I shed a tear and then the tear went into my eye and then it changed all the lights again. I was just like, oh, fucking this. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Even I feel like had the fucking best setup for the shed because he used to have um like glow in the dark fucking inks and stuff like that. So I remember when Jay did acid for the first time, you're like, yeah, what we'll do is we'll give you all these colors and then you just painted the fucking roller door with them. Mm. And Jay just stood there for like fucking four hours staring at it, yeah. <laughs> at the roller door. Uh, back, like back when I was 18 and all that, they were doing heaps of road works around my house. And me and mates, or a few mates, we um, went and stole You didn't all have those. mates. A few people that I paid to hang out with me. Um, <laughs> you know those the orange lights they have on the fucking booms that just flash? Yeah. yeah. On the, we went and stole all of them. And then put them in the garage and got ripped off their heads and turned the lights off. So the whole place is just like <laughs> flashing. <laughs> <Yeah. going nuts. laughs> and your one friend has a fit. <laughs> no, I didn't have any epileptic friends at that uh, stage. Good. I got some later on, but yeah. 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 That was a funny trip, that one in the garage, though. Because, like, yeah, we were all just like staring intently at this fucking garage door. <laughs> Did it start changing shape and everything? Or? Uh, no, nah, not really. It was more like. Um, Staring you know off what, into like the fra- universe. Fractal geometry is where it's like a pattern that infinitely repeats in and outwards. Oh, like the Fibonacci you know, shit. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Like you see it in trees and you see it in fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yep. see it everywhere when you're tripping because you're like, oh, fuck. Like the floor is now a pattern that just fucking goes and just repeats inwards. But um, yeah, the door was just like morphing and like twinkling and shit like that. And we're just like staring at it. It was like staring up into the night sky. Except you're staring at a fucking garage door. And we were there for hours just staring at it in awe. Yeah. And then there's a TV right there with like shit going on it. But we're all just staring oh, at the fucking fuck garage fuck door. We're like, I don't give a fuck about the TV. And that's why it's illegal. Because if anyone walked in and was like, what are these cunts doing? Oh, yeah. There's like a TV there and they're all just staring at a fucking garage door. <laughs> like, well, this really... isn't productive to society. How are we yeah. going to fucking program their brains <laughs> if they're fucking looking at the door instead of the TV? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the TV's not always that interesting. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, when I was there, they, like, I had it like about three o'clock in the Arvo. It's like, oh, it's not doing anything. And, you know, just when you say it's not doing anything, <laughs> yeah, it starts, it's on a yeah. in the balls. But yeah, I was up to like five in the morning. But I was watching the Harbour Bridge and the Harbour Bridge is just bending. I was like, fuck, I hope there's no cars going over that. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, maybe I should call someone. <laughs> then you start feeling personally responsible for it. And you're like, oh. I need to calm my shit down. No, yeah. I, I, was, I, was, I was listening to, I had like the Netflix on my phone. I was just listening to stand up, looking at the bridge going, oh, this is fucking sick. <laughs> oh, man. You know, fucking subconsciously remember some of those jokes and then accidentally steal one now. Uh, look, I steal a heap of jokes anyway, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I've just been watching Carlos Mencia the whole time in isolation. Oh, man. Taking pointers. I wonder if you, if you stole his jokes, does that make it, like, doubly as bad then because they're already stolen or... Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck him. It's just, that, it just becomes a rap game then. <laughs> <laughs> what was that story? There was a story about, um, the, I think it was The Game had his rap book. Stolen? Someone. Oh, yeah. It was like they did it in um, GDA San Andreas as well. But can you imagine if someone got their rap book stolen or their joke book stolen? It depends who it was. Just, yeah, Someone gets on happening. stage. Someone gets on stage and just does like half thought out fucking bits. Yeah, Stan had <laughs> fucking did it to someone. He oh, like, really? Yeah, it might have been, Stan, it might have been someone. I was listening to some podcast. They found someone's fucking on their computer like all their premises. Oh. All the shit that they'd thought of doing, and then they just wrote them all down and went up on stage for like 15 minutes and just burnt all of them. Oh. <laughs> all this half baked shit. Just fucking trash this dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you'd have to be successful because imagine if you'd like, you finally got some good stuff in your open mic and somebody jumps yeah. to you. It's like, oh, oh fuck. That's, whoever that was is oh, the first man. person that's getting bashed at comedy. Yeah. Like, yeah, if you did something like that. Fucking um, when Ari Shafir and oh, that little Asian dude, when they were having their fucking fight, Bobby, they, Lee. Bobby Lee, Bobby Lee got on stage once, was introducing Ari, but then just told everyone Ari's fucking punchlines. He was like, oh, you're going to love this next guy. He's got this joke about like such and such. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's just burned all of his material. That's so good. <laughs> Ari had to get on stage like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> yeah, nobody's done that around with any of us yet, which is good. Oh, like a, fuck. Yeah, at least somebody like Ari can recover. <laughs> be like, oh, yeah. Actually, shit. we had Jared on last week. Jared, oh, he Jared turned up. Yeah, Jared's yeah. probably the most likely to get bashed at comedy, I reckon. <laughs> 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 Some random punter. <laughs> Definitely. A hundred percent, yeah. yeah. Well, so yeah. How, how much, like... Uh, beeps did you have to put into the podcast? Oh, I was I was more offensive than him. He was well behaved. Yeah, yeah Jared's I, turned over a new leaf. He's yeah, a new man. <laughs> yeah. He, Has he been riding in this time of? Uh, nah, not really. I don't think so. Yeah. That was one of those podcasts because obviously, Jared, like Jared and I, Ethan and Jared have had conversations, but really. Jared doesn't ever remember like even talking to you, like oh, ever. Yeah, he, he didn't remember yeah. that we were at Raw. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> oh no, yeah, Jared, he's, he's good at he's, just walking into like, the middle yeah. of it. How ever. fucking far is your head up your ass? That yeah, you didn't remember that we were at Raw. <laughs> well, you've seen him when we're having it like at the end of a show, and we're all in a circle, and he'll just walk into the middle of the circle and face James and and Luke. Oh and yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. We're just looking at the back of Jared's fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. head. <laughs> He's like, "Oh, hey guys." <laughs> oh, he doesn't even do that. Hello, back of Jared's head. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah. We were talking yeah. about him like yelling shit out at shows and stuff like that too, which I don't really care if he does it. Oh, it's, it's if it's Crown and Anchor fucking it's just it's shit enough already, yeah, is yeah. it? And I know that's going to be the first one back probably too, so... A hundred percent. I hope so. Yeah. That's Can't where wait. I want to start this yeah. shit. <laughs> Hopefully with um, no one there as well. Yeah, Everyone's I, still afraid of Corona. And oh, no, no. I want it for like as full as you can get it. I reckon <clears throat> that place will be pretty full though, once it goes back. Well, you can get 50... Because I, I actually... um I was in there a couple of weeks ago because I was, had to cover for James to do a podcast. Yeah. And he was saying, yeah, like... That wasn't yeah. on the Mark Hunt one, was it? No, no, oh. that, that was it. Was um, Kendall Jane, I think her name was, and some chick that Sounds does like a trend swim, name. swimwear. <laughs> Kendall Jane. Yeah, yeah she's, it really she's, does. Yeah, she's probably a nice person. No, I've just said that, but anyway. Oh, she's yeah, she's definitely not a transvestite or anything. Like that. <laughs> um, yeah, she's some singer chick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, so I covered that and you're saying, yeah, we can fit X amount of people up here, upstairs and so many downstairs. But now that it's opened up again, like you can, you can 50 in or whatever, upstairs and downstairs. So yeah. Well, 50 is enough to do comedy. Definitely. Fucking that's, that's a big, more. big night for us. But the only pr- problem is for us standing outside. I, think. I don't know where the, uh, where yeah, the restrictions, the we all stand out mm. the back sort of thing. Yep. And everyone has to be sitting down. So. Oh, well, into the fucking pokey area. Yeah, <laughs> Mate, fucking fifty people. The pokey area becomes the green room. Fuck, I love green rooms. Oh, so happy that we got a green room. Oh, settle down, mate. <laughs> Let me just kill what's, it. What's on your rider, oh. mate? <laughs> <laughs> Food, KFC. Obviously. Yeah, yeah. No if, fucking green M and M's. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking some weed, so I can spin out before I go out. Oh man, never ever doing comedy on weed again. That was such a bad idea. <laughs> I've only Such done it. Dumb idea. Oh shit! He asked me. He's like, "Oh, I'm pretty fucking baked, man. Should I come out of the show?" I'm like, "No, it's not going to go well." <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, fuck it. I'm going to do no, it. It's something to cross off list. I've done it once when I was down in Sydney, but I had two gigs on. So the first, well, I've had a few beers. Funnily enough, um, <laughs> you like beer. beers? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't. Drink. Don't believe it for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to James for getting me on the rushes recently. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I did the first gig, and I was just like in the, on the up. Thing. So I was having a great old gig and then I hopped on the train and then went to the second gig and then I was on the paranoid side oh, of things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> the that, then that was sticks and stones too. I was just like, oh, shit. That's <laughs> the yeah. fucking worst place to be paranoid. <laughs> 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 oh, it was brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it would have been. I had like one of the worst gigs I've ever had in my life there. <laughs> oh, I bet they didn't let you know about it either. <laughs> oh, I bet they were really accepting. Uh, no, it, it, was, been, it was on the James, what's his name? Jackson Pierce, not Jackson Pierce. Doherty? No. Jackson, the young Jackson. Oh, Jackson, Jackson Stewart. Stewart. Yeah, he was on the on the table, yeah. so he was kind of kind of cool about it. Yeah. Yeah. I Most want... of them would be kind of cool about it because they're all fucking massive drug users. Yeah, I should have opened up with like, yeah, I'm fucking stoned and I've never done this before. So yeah. Let's see. How and they would have been like, we're all stoned too, dude. Be real, man. Just, <laughs> be real. Just do what you gotta do. <laughs> I love that place though. 
I need to get back. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I only love it because I went good there like, the last time I did it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Every did other you, time I fucking hate it. Did you see that um, bomb offily thing? That um, Yeah. Do you know who made that? I think Sue Thomas made it. Because it said Sue Thomas 69 at gmail.com. Yeah. But is that Sue's actual thing or is someone taking the piss? Because oh, that's a funny fucking email address too. Oh, yeah. wouldn't, gonna make it. wouldn't put it past Sue, yeah. Yeah. She's been doing it for ages. But did you just, uh, did you just read the, all the community chess cards and all yeah, that shit? I, yeah, I went through it all. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. holy fuck, this is funny as shit. Yeah. They're just nailing it every, head, well, every time. If you've been down there a couple of times, you just fucking, yeah. Yeah. No crowd. Go to fucking... Uh, uh, crown comedy yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah turn up at fucking sweeney's and beg for a spot and it's like yeah i've done that before yeah that reminded me to um get my ass into gear and make the fucking guess who me too edition oh. <laughs> that i need to fucking make oh yeah so i want to play that on the podcast yeah that is fucking great <laughs> you should just mix it with corona it's like oh, they're all dead yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh shit yeah i need to get around to that I don't know what time are we at? It's fucking... Yeah, that's an hour. Yeah, fuck. Old Pud's ready for bed. Oh, you've had a big day of doing fuck all. Oh, yeah. Now I put the washing on. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. You put it on and then <laughs> yeah. you just left it for the actual hard bit. For <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put well, some fuel in the mar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't start it, though. Well, I tried to start it. But no, it ran. It started. But then it fucking... Every time you give it some, it fucking cuts out again. You reckon it's it's either the carby or the fucking exhaust? Muffler's blocked. That's what the internet reckons. Just buy a new <laughs> fucking mower. You're going to need something, some workhorse to actually get through this shit. Yeah. Well, I was actually going to just put fucking electrical wire in it. See if that worked. What? What? <laughs> what in the, <laughs> in in the whipper a, snipper. In yeah. the bottom bit. I'm like, this will either be the greatest idea or I'm going to have a scar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you want you want to put stainless steel cable ties in it and wear long pants. Yeah, is that yeah. what you reckon that gets it done? Oh yeah, it does, but it also gets done like the you know when it goes, those, it let's goes. Go. <laughs> That's yeah, you want to wear a safety glasses while you do that one. Oh, well, it's ankle oh, height. I love watching people like mowing the lawn with just thongs on and shit, and just yeah. like fuck, you just don't value your fucking body at all. <laughs> fuck it, I'll lose a toe, easy. Easy, I'm going to lose a whole leg anyway. <laughs> to, to the diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. All right, that's a fucking podcast. We didn't even do our fucking... Have you written any bits, Ethan? No, I'm trying to fix the shit that I've got. I would... What do you mean by try that? Try writing new jokes if I was you. Well, you're here. trying to upgrade your bits at the moment. No, no, not my current bits. Like, the, the shit that I'm trying to write for like a new five. Like I'm trying to polish that instead of just trying to just fucking come up with heaps of bits. Oh, so what, what's your new five about? I don't fucking know. Shave he hasn't, he hasn't got, got five. five. minutes on fucking girls should shave their pussies. <laughs> That's how I'm coming back. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Because the five minutes on your dog's asshole worked out so well that time. <laughs> hey, it turned into a fucking good joke. I got one out of that. And if I get one joke out of this, oh, fuck uh, it. How, how's how's your writing going? <laughs> oh man, I've started writing jokes while I'm stoned on my computer, and I get back and I'm I'll read them out next week on the podcast because there is some shit in there that I'm like, what the fuck, cunt? Like, I'm an insane person. <laughs> I'm an actual insane person. Oh, you have to be to do comedy, so. Yeah, but even this stuff, it was just like completely incoherent gibberish. <laughs> like, just words together in sentences. Oh, yeah. But, oh, I know what you mean. Like, yeah. you think, oh, yeah, I'll, that's great. Yeah, I understand it. But you need to yeah. write a whole bunch of shit so you can read it and be like, oh, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, I was but just when you like, get stoned, your thoughts just go like, they just tangent off and again and again and again. I prefer in that sort of thing just to like the voice notes so and you just talk about it. Into yeah. your phone now, oh. and then it's sort of you can just get more shit out. Nah, because then I get afraid the Chinese people are stealing my soul. Oh, <laughs> is that racist? Gonna take my bits. <laughs> I thought you were going to say jokes. Yeah. <laughs> fucking Din Mouth in fucking Wuhan. He's nah, going to do nah. my type five. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. Oh, so you know when you were carving rocks out of dildos? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, yeah, fuck. Like, all right. Yeah. You got any? I got one new bit. Which is um, 
Uh, look, there's a whole bunch of Corona stuff. We're not going to burn all that. But, <laughs> You're um, not going to burn it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's going to burn itself. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna. I'm just going to wait for a spectacular bomb. Fucking <laughs> whenever we come uh, back. Yeah. But I've got one. It's like ever since everything shut down, like because I being a tradie, you can't have a like I don't have an office to shit into, um, or an office shit or whatever. Yeah. So you have to go around to pubs or whatever, and they're all shut. So now you've only got um, the storm drain shopping centers. Like, because you got to have some sort of quality of a toilet. You just can't be going like to a certain coronavirus toilet. has turned me Indian. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just shitting in the street now. But um, <laughs> <laughs> Chinese people do that too. You can call me Pajit Ronan. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back with a new stage name. <laughs> I'm not doing blackface. So <laughs> oh, brown face. Man. Yeah, it's, fine. it's all right. Trudeau got You're away fine. with it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's tan boot polish instead. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, fucking. But so yeah, like going to take a shit at the at shopping centers. All the major shopping centers. If you go and take a shit, like I like to sit, sit on the toilet and scroll through my phone. Yeah, but there's they've made it somehow. Like I think they put all chicken wire in the Rio so that there's no phone reception yeah. in the toilets. Yeah. But, oh, can't. So you can't stream pool and have a wank. Yeah, but like if you're going to oh, do yeah. that, if you're the sort of person that's going to have a pool in a public toilet or a shopping centre, you're going to come prepared, aren't you? With a downloaded <laughs> yeah. video. Yeah. Or if you're trying to groom a kid, you're not going to be saying like, hey, okay. oh, hang on, I forgot my password. Fucking hang on a sec. I really, yeah. want, to, like, and shit. I really want to fuck this kid, but the buffering is killing me. <laughs> yeah, you're coming prepared for that shit. Yeah. Like, so I don't know why they did it sort of thing. Like, that is a great bit. <laughs> I like that. Oh fuck. Oh man. Fuck. I um So Fap of the Week was not <laughs> <laughs> not in the top of the fucking No fucking Charles way. Down Square. You you used to live in Cairns. You know the big shopping centre in Cairns? Yeah, yeah. The one up the main road? Yeah. I fucking woke up in that once. We went there for a, a road trip. Like um like when I was in defence, we drove from Townsville to Cairns. And they just made me wear a dress and drink lots of beer. So I ended up just like getting off the bus and just, I'd smash my phone as well on the bus. So I was like, oh, I got to go buy a new phone. So all I remember is getting off the bus, demanding that the woman fix my phone. Or like, as I buy a new one, I'm like, you need to just sort it out for me. Like, here you go. And then I woke up to Aboriginal people arguing in the bathroom. And I'm like, where the fuck am I? Just in a public <laughs> bathroom, asleep on the toilet. Like, holy fuck. What happened like, to the old uh, army ethos of no man left behind? Or that We were in well, the Air Force, mate. The time. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Thanks that, for setting that yeah, one up, Adam. That yeah, was fucking great. No, that was good. <laughs> was everybody yeah. like in dresses or just you? Uh, me and another person. What were you? What, <clears throat> why? Because uh, you're trip bitch. So if it's your first trip, you had to be trip bitch, which meant you got in a dress, served everyone their beers, and they were being like fucking cunts to me. Like that doesn't sound like, like the military. They were just, oh, they were just nagging you, bro. <laughs> so does that yeah. mean too, like if you're the most person, like the most trips, are you the trip whore then? <laughs> well, everyone ends up getting in the dress eventually, um, but like they were just being like. Total cunts to me, and there was this one dude who Just used to be taking turns fucking like, each other in the ass. Well, we he, all get to wear the dress. Everyone gets a turn. It's, yeah, 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 it's yeah. Bonding. Yeah. <laughs> if you wanted to get out of the dress, you'd have to give him fifty bucks into like the the trip bucket where they used to buy everyone drinks from. Um. Anyway, so how many people on the on the <clears> bus? Uh it was a mini bus, so about twenty of us. Yeah. Piss a phone as well. No. 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 How did you pissed it's in bottles and stuff. Oh, we had to like I tried to, but I couldn't. Oh, I got I got peace shy, so I had to get everyone to pull over. Oh, because well, when I used to go away in um, end of season trips, we used to have a pisser phone and just yeah. go out the door, happy days. Keep yeah, no, nah, <laughs> no. Nah. But we um so they're being like total fucking cunts to me, but they're also asking me to handle their drinks and open them for them before you you get them. So I was just fucking shoving a finger up my ass and wiping it on the rim before I gave them a drink every time. What the fuck just is wrong with you? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with them? Why were you fingering, fingering your own asshole? Because I was in I was in a dress, so I was like, "Fuck, it's easy to do." So hang on, like, what sort of dress are we talking? Like a mini skirt? Yeah, here? mini skirt with a fish knot top, <laughs> like fish net top. <laughs> yeah. And this is back before you were fat. Um, I was 
coming off a skinny. So I was on the way up. You you were a dad bod. Not yeah, I was dad bod. Yeah. yeah. I enjoy yeah. finger in the ass as much as the next guy. But fuck, not it wasn't I wasn't then. like I wasn't like going all the way up there, but I was like I was getting enough so that there was sweat on my finger and I'm like, yeah, I'm putting that on the rim of this cunt's beer. Okay, so and you weren't getting like knuckle deep. Just, not knuckle deep, no. Just rim and rim and so up. yeah. Where can you do this in a bus with nobody? Seeing you doing that, they must have all been pretty pissed. Yeah, they were. All, you, everyone was fucking what you, hammered. What are you like driving past Ballina or something? You're like, oh, big prawns over there, and everyone looks in you. It's like, <laughs> fucking stick. I don't know how I didn't get caught and bashed. To be honest, like it sounds like they fucking loved it. Yeah, it was like. Everyone's just, just on the sly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. That was an appetizer for them. Yeah, yeah. Like, just a little taste. <laughs> of what we're gonna get later. <laughs> When we're ribbing him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you got date raped in a toilet in Cairns and drugged and woke yeah. up. Well, yeah. Was Bill Cosby on your bus? <laughs> I was the Bill Cosby, apparently, <laughs> like, I guess. No, you got Bill Cosby. He was By myself. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. There's no help in this cunt. That was like yeah. the whole fucking thing in yeah. the fucking group chat earlier before you came out, you fucking idiot. What? Can we roast him for that? Before he came out. <laughs> before he came out. Before he drove out here, yeah. where Mark was talking about, because Mark Beater was supposed to be on here, but he's been a piece of shit. Oh, the, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I make... completely missed it. I was yeah. just like, <laughs> and I saw that later, and I was like, ah, oh, fucking <laughs> straight over the top of my head. about him going on an e bike ride, and you're like, oh, so you didn't really go for a ride, taking the piss. And then Mark's like, yeah, it was all in VR. And then Mitch was like, Oh, it was all in VR, was it? <laughs> what was it like? Did you get motion sick? <laughs> yeah, I was like, because I played, I played VR before and I got motion sick, so I just wanted to know. It's so <laughs> far behind the eight ball, it's fucking. Oh man, yeah, that's yeah. what happens, like because you don't look at it for. Yeah, like, no, I don't weeks. check it. But yeah, I don't to. check it. <laughs> it was in context. <laughs> Too much information to compute all at once. It was like, yeah, they had to read like two lines before it. I didn't. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was just like, fair enough. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna fucking chuck my bit in there. Yeah, I did Still that on the fucking comedy group thing the other night. Anyway, what got was roasted that? for that. Oh yeah, oh, but making then, fun of yeah, you but... and your titties. Luke uh, fucking Luke put himself in it as well. So it's like, I don't read this. He's like, neither do I. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, we are both too cool for this chat. <laughs> <laughs> We're both cool dudes. Do you notice that he uh, he rolled off in a wheelchair and his emoji? So he still might be fucked up from his accident. So <laughs> We can only hope. <laughs> it's Luke after all. What happened to Luke? I missed it. Oh, you did know, you? You After know. he um, did the last podcast with us on Legacy, he felt so good that he went and rolled his car. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a very good belly laugh about somebody rolling in the car, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, man. It was more the way Ethan delivered it. <laughs> but, yeah. He had to go to um, a, a funeral in Tamworth, and he didn't quite make it at Tamworth. Oh, fuck. So I don't know whether that says much about his like driving abilities of staying awake or whether he just really didn't want to go to Tamworth. Or... It's a good excuse. Yeah. I fucking... Man, I'm like bad at laughing at inappropriate things. Last night... Didn't you come to the last... <clears throat> Sorry, go for it. Uh, last night, my friend's like, his missus had some edibles and Tanya and I were joking about her eating too much edibles like a minute before that. And then he's come in. He's yeah, like, oh, yeah. Know. They were unaware. That she was actually freaking out. He's yeah. like, yeah, me missus is freaking out. And I was like, in my head, stoned head context, I was like, that is fucking hilarious that we were just <laughs> joking we were just about, that. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I've just like lost my shit laughing and he's like, fuck you, dude. Like <laughs> she's in a real bad way. You fucking cunt. I hope it happens to you. I was like, no, no, no. I wasn't laughing at her freaking out. I was laughing about us talking about her freaking out two minutes ago. You'd already put your foot too far. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like, fuck you. <laughs> Got off line. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, but oh, did, well. Didn't you come to the, did you come to the um, James's new room, the Beaumont? No, no, I missed that. Oh, right, yeah, because that was Tom and Luke. Yeah, he was supposed to host with James, but yeah, he just really didn't want to do the gig apparently. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old joke, but yeah, yeah, let's run with it. Yeah, I like it. It wasn't a bad gig either, that one. <laughs> Hopefully it's back on when yeah. um, it starts back up. Oh, well, I never got the, cool. um, the Warners Bay, never got started either, so. Oh, yeah. It's not going to start up, is it? Maybe. We're supposed to be on the 20th of April. Who's running that one? Me. Oh, true. Yeah, on a Monday. Oh, uh, okay. Awesome. I'm not going to fucking Warner's Bay. You're not going to any comedy gigs anyway, so it doesn't <laughs> fucking matter. No one cares. Hang, hang, yeah. hang on a sec. 
There's an all-you-can-eat buffet there, eh? Right? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, fuck, you got <laughs> oh, me. fuck, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do it before comedy because if I eat too much before comedy, oh, I'd love I'm to just see not you on just, the ball, you know? You should do comedy <laughs> with a mic in one hand and a chicken leg in the yeah. other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm fat. <laughs> yeah, chew into the mic too. Just... <laughs> yeah. yeah, we need to give it a corona spray after you're done with it Not because oh, of the man. sickness, just because it's filthy covered in grease How the fuck didn't any comics get corona all putting the fucking microphone up to their chins? Well, as That's much one as of the things we're so we're much like... pieces of shit that we're immune to it Like, we're all yeah. filthy enough that... yeah. I thought I had it when I came back from overseas I thought I I'm was pretty fucked. sure you did have it You well, just never got tested it, Everyone would have had it, so uh, Yeah, but I never, like, let you come inside me, so <laughs> you know, and that's a podcast. <laughs> Just make it super gay and weird. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> he's blushing now. Yeah. He's so blushing. Where, where can what we see you blushing? next? In cans in a toilet or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to wake up in a public toilet in cans though. No, that's it's a bad place to be. And then I tried to yeah. hit on some fat Irish chicks, and when I got back. And that ended up with me getting a drink in my face. Fuck, fuck cans. Striking out with the fatties. Oh, man. We were close. You know we were... your life's really gone off the rails when you're striking out with a fat chick. Well, no, she was she was into me and then she found out my age and she's like too old. Oh, she said you How were How old were you at that stage? 19. Well, she's fucking 12, was she? <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, I was too young for her. She was like, she was like 26 <laughs> and I was 19. She's yeah, like, I made oh, that mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, always lie about your age. You just say old enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I say I'm 18 all the time now. Fucking <laughs> get away with it. Does it work? Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. Yeah. I'm not going to make a pedophile joke because uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's been done. Yeah, been done to death. Yeah, I can't remember fucking other shit I had to talk about, but it's fucking nah. Got That's nothing. a podcast. Look, I'm just glad we went kept going after I said that fucking joke about me having sex with Ethan. Oh, we had to salvage it. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. couldn't just leave it on the. On a win. That's what it's all about in comedy, you know. Yeah. Gotta finish on, just, on the if you're bombing, just keep going. Just yeah. go over time. Yeah, do your 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You've been reading that book, haven't you? The fucking one that Mark. Yeah, yeah, it's really, thing. really good, actually. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure we've sent it to you. I don't know if you download it though. I'll send it to you again. Yeah, send it to me. Yeah. I can't read anyway, but uh, it's really good. It's just I'll like... get Tanya to read it to me at bedtime stories. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, <laughs> you're a mess. I know, I know. It's what makes it good. Start getting really good ideas for jokes in bed. Like, what was that one the other night? He was just like, <clears> I have like multiple types of autism. <laughs> That's right. And he like had to call us to fucking tell us about it. I was like, yeah, oh, this fuck. Not a good idea for a joke. I was like, no, I was genuinely worried that I might have multiple types of autism. <laughs> I'm like, I'd be even like, I'd be fucking like too autistic for autistic people. It's like, we're in a circle. There's, yeah. Wasn't a very good joke, but I was very high at the time, so it yeah. was great at the time. How like how ripped are you getting every night? <laughs> Fucking pretty ripped. <laughs> like, pretty bad. I haven't got a I haven't got a great um yeah, I can't handle me weed. You can't handle your weed? No fucking way. Especially if I do the smart thing to save money, which is have a six pack first, then start on the weed. Yeah, that's a bad idea. <laughs> That's just breakfast, isn't fucking, it? It's like <laughs> fucking saves you some money. No wonder you felt like shit earlier today. You're like, oh, I feel pretty sick, eh? <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, this cunt is. That had nothing to do with the podcast. sausage roll and the chocolate bar. I ate ten minutes before it. That was your breakfast, was it? Nah, it was me lunch. I didn't have breakfast. <laughs> so that was your breakfast. I was on me fast. It? I'm on a fasting diet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I ate fast. Yeah. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> How fast can I get to the shop to get some fucking shit? Oh, I'm doing KFC on the way home tonight as well, by the way, fellas. Oh, just yeah. A bit of KFC. Yeah, go see the colonel. Yeah, just go see. Fuck, I don't know what's going on here for dinner tonight. Fucking... Spell oi. Mum! Fucking meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. How good is Dirty Bird? 
<laughs> Fuck, I love Dirty Bird. Fuck. This podcast is going nowhere now. <laughs> it's fucking dead. I just can't wait to the time when you have a walker coming up on stage fucking doing this one. You can't fucking... <laughs> He's not have a walker. I'm not going to have a walker. He's going to lose a foot. <laughs> yeah. He's going to have crutches at least. Crutches? Nah. I'll go straight for the fucking fat man mobile. You know how they all get mobility scooters? You should, <laughs> It'll be me. You should buy a parrot now so you've got time to train it for when you do lose that leg. So you can... Yeah. Well, like... <laughs> it would be easy to train a parrot to do his jokes too because it's just, I'm fat. My dick's small. <laughs> Give me some food. <laughs> oh, You're man. fucking like Stav from Come Town. Like that's his, all yeah. his jokes is, I'm fat and my dick's small. I'm gay lol. <laughs> yeah. That's all his jokes. Well, you, you couldn't train a parrot because you'd end up just fucking kerneling it and fucking eating it one night every time. Oh, yeah. So I got a new parrot the other day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but deep, I fucking ate him. Deep fried him. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you like? Do you watch Master Chef and just salivate over food while you're eating? Oh, what? dude, I fucking have you seen? Um, fucking nailed it on on uh, Netflix. No. So basically, they they have like a professional like pastry chef or someone come in and make these crazy fucking awesome like cakes and stuff, <laughs> and then they get like three people <laughs> like me who have no business in the kitchen to like try and do it. And they just fuck it every time. Like, just the worst thing. I even get excited by those cakes. So, Master Chef. That show, because yeah. you'll fucking shit up. I'd premature ejaculate if I had to. Yeah, watch they'd go to cook Master and be like, Chef. Where, where's all the raw ingredients going? You're just like, fucking, <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you ate a whole bag of sugar, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh. Yeah, I was calling him Diabetty the other night <laughs> from The Simpsons. <laughs> Trying to lose weight to fit in my mama's coffin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my reward. <laughs> God, I got good friends. Nice and accepting. And a great yeah. metabolism as well. <laughs> yeah, well, it was good up until I was about 19 when things started going downhill. Yep. No, it was good until you became a lazy motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, well, it probably had something to do with it. It was I started getting fat around the time I stopped doing sports and working out. Funny, uh, that. yeah, crazy <laughs> yeah, coincidence. Detectives on this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's... <laughs> it's like oh, oh, the defense made me go to a uh, dietitian. They're like, you're fat and your fucking blood works a mess. <laughs> and then, like, I t- turn up to the dietitian, and he's like, "Oh, so why do you think you're overweight?" I'm like, "Probably got something to do with all the KFC I eat." Eh? <laughs> <laughs> like, I really don't need a dietitian to tell me why I'm fat. <laughs> this is when you're still like in active service. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. How yeah. the fuck do you get away to KFC? Like, no, we had fucking Maccas around the corner at Will- Willy Town. So yeah, why are you blaming on the Colonel then? Ah, oh, look, mate, I'd sometimes take a detour to Rainbow. So years ago from March, and they'd be like, where's Mitch? He's gone AWOL again. It's like, <laughs> yeah. They'd send the fucking, what is it, the military police to Maccas to fucking pick you up. Trust me, man, they were not missing me. <laughs> like, I was glad that oh, thank was fuck. gone for yeah. a second. They're like, oh, we can finally <laughs> fix this fucking plane now that that cunt's gone. <laughs> yeah, you come back and you're throwing chicken bones in the fucking... In Intake, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, um... I remember I saw like a, a APU, like the little fucking, the, like a mini jet engine that they used to start the real jet engines. It caught fire once and I wasn't the one doing it. But the person who saw it was just like, just didn't give a fuck. They were just like, it was a proper emergency. He's just like, just watched it for like a good 10 seconds. He's like, yeah, that that's on fire. You didn't. And he was just like, oh, fuck. Just like so casual about it. Like, yeah, no, nah, it's just like, like you're trying to do like a metaphor for your life at the moment. <laughs> yeah. <but. laughs> I was like, you yeah. know what happened, David? Like, yeah. you, you put the motors together and you had chicken grease over your hands. <laughs> <while you're, laughs> and as soon as they heat up, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, oh, fuck, it's the worst, mate. It happens to the best of us, you know. Yeah, I hate putting aircraft motors together with chicken grease on my hand. <laughs> it's a bane of my existence. Oh, man. Yeah, that's 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 the podcast. I've got, I've got nothing else. <laughs> oh, All right. Yeah. Oh, cheers that's, for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming on, man. That was a good one. 
No, that was a lot of fun, fellas. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you just had fun. Hey, it's redeemed from my last time I was here. Anyway, that was fucking horrendous. So. Yeah, it was much better. All right. Yeah. All right, I love you. See you later,